welcome back friends uh, now in this video let us talk about a little bit about uh, the helical symmetry so we'll be talking about the sorry let us change this color uh, we'll be talking about helical symmetry helical symmetry of uh, the proteins or helical proteins for the viral structures now helical uh, structure for as a capsid is pretty common for the viruses <coughs> you can find many plant as well as animal viruses uh, having this helical symmetry especially plant viruses an example for this helical symmetry containing virus is we talk an example is here tobacco mosaic virus or tmv better known as tmv right so in this case of helical structure of the viruses what we can have they are having many several rounds of proteins actually uh, first round of proteins and then second round of proteins and the actual idea is that if this is our dna if if say let me draw if this is our genetic material for example say if this is our genetic material we need to cover up this genetic material right so how to cover up this material uh, there are some scaffolding protein some scaffolding proteins as well as some tegument proteins right so some scaffolding proteins will hold on to this structure first okay after holding on to this structure the scapsomere proteins will start to add from one end so let's say here the proteins are being added like that and again if one round is done the second round will be added then the third round will be added now in this case the direction of addition is pretty important like this so the direction of addition is is very really important in this picture what i have drawn the direction of, of addition is going on like that and it is again coming out like this and again it is going on so this is how they are arranging all those proteins there right so the outer po portion of the proteins that we are talking about these are a kind of structural capsomere capsomeres or or these are the structural proteins and inside here what we get inside here we are ha having uh, some tegument some tegument as well as tegument proteins as well as we can also have some uh, some scaffolding scaffolding should be another f proteins right so scaffolding proteins are first kind of proteins that are going to bind with uh, the genome of uh, the virus and then the tegument protein will hold on to these capsomeres uh, to help them to be attached with these tegument proteins to have an integrated structure right so it's a kind of dna is first being added so if i if i draw a schematic presentation how it will look like so let's say the dna is there and it is first bound with uh, kind of let's say uh, scaffolding protein scaffolding protein so I, I like SP here tegument proteins e, TP so scaffolding proteins are added after adding this scaffolding protein then uh, it brings all the structural proteins in right and it brings those structural proteins in and then tegument proteins will help them tegument proteins will help them to be added with this dna with scaffolding proteins to have a helical capsid that's how the uh, helical virus uh, capsid is made and inside what we are having our uh, gene of interest okay now let us talk about uh, the symmetry for the icosahedral virus so we'll be looking at icosahedral uh, capsid and you'll be also looking at the symmetry behind the icosahedral capsid now in this case before going into the detail you should know how it looks like actually so let me draw the icosahedral symmetry here so let me draw <coughs> here it says uh, i'll be drawing it larger so that you can see the whole point behind so let's take this one like that take this is a straight 90 degree 
after that i'll be joining this region sorry yeah, it will be like this this with this this with this sorry okay so this is a kind of icosahedral i have drawn now this is icosahedral right which is a perfect combination of geometry and mathematics as you can see it's a brilliant example for the structure okay so it is a kind of a drawing is not that much accurate if it's accurate it, it should be slightly upward like that anyways now the, but, but the geometry is exactly the same that i've drawn in this case okay now in this icosahedral shape what we can see in this kind of symmetry the arrangement of protein is vital and the arrangement of protein is kind of very tedious right because to give a shape like that you cannot understand the structure until and unless you visualize it in 3d or three dimension right but still i i'll try to make you understand whatever i can now in this picture it's a kind of a structure and each of these sections each of this section that that that, they, that you are seeing here each of this section here this part this part all of this these are having a, its own place uh, so if, if you put this so if you think this is a dice it's a multi layer dice kind right now usually in a kind of dice what we are having we are having six layer only but in this case it is a multi layer dice more than six layer dice right now if we now let's talk about the axis of the symmetry now if you look at this as a symmetry there are three different type of rotational axis that you can find so in this in this structure we can find three different rotational axis and we need to find those three different rotational axis symmetry right now first kind of symmetry that i am getting from here if i draw it by looking at this picture by looking at this picture only what we get is this section you can see this is the section this section is telling us that it's a triangle right so it's a kind of three dimensional it's a kind of three fold of the symmetry uh, if you're not a mathematics student it will be very hard for you to understand it's uh, similar for me also but still uh, try to understand this part is called a threefold symmetry this is called a threefold so by looking at this picture what i can tell we get a threefold axis of axis of symmetry okay in this first picture by looking at it now let me draw another picture for that same another picture for that same and if i just rotate this uh, dice if i just rotate this around just a slight rotation like that just a slight rotation if i view it from the top try to understand this concept very 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 carefully if i am looking it from this 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 part this upper part let's say if i looking from this part how can you look so if i looking from the straight where i'm seeing this where you are seeing this in the screen you can find this threefold symmetry by looking at the picture but if you are looking from directly from this angle how can you look how it will look let me draw this structure now if i draw it how it will look it will look something like that it will look like this and this and also like that light sorry very very sorry yeah this one as well as this one so it will look like this and at the center it will have this part this part should draw it carefully and this it will look something like that if we look from this symmetry as you can see here you can see three different lines and you can see here so if i looking at here th these three lines are visualized by this region rest of the two is not seen by looking at the picture because it is a two dimension but if we look at it you can get something like that the view from the top so this is the top view so view from the top here view from the top we'll get something like that right 
you get a symmetrical structure like this now in this picture by looking at this picture what we can see is this if we look at here we can find again another uh, region another point here and what we can get from this region again remember one two three four five so how many fold of symmetry we get a five fold of symmetry five fold fold of uh, five fold axis of symmetry in this case in this case we get only three but in this case we get five okay and if I draw another image of the same picture here so let me draw another image here and let us zoom let's say this sorry won't work draw it like that here and then I need to draw another triangle on the opposite of that like this this like and then I need to kind of drag these sections out a little bit I won't encourage you to draw or memorize all the structures because it will be difficult uh, to draw or memorize the structure in any format of the time so but but still try to understand how the structure is actually arranged sorry it's not actually going on it's kind of not uh, one minute let us draw a straight line yeah no I, I okay after that it will have joined all this I, we should have joined all these things like that okay so you can get a symmetry like that again right so if we look now now from what angle we are looking at now let's say <coughs> you are just taking this dice and you are rotating it slightly in this direction slightly in this direction if, if this is the axis in this picture this is the axis you are slightly rotating in this direction and what we get at like like this level you get if you look at this level as you can see these are the two triangles in opposite direction at this region it's exactly getting it here you're looking at straight through this region and what we get here we can get two folds of the symmetry now remember in the previous picture we have seen a three fold symmetry here like like this three fold symmetry so this is a three fold but this is this as well as this this is a two fold axis of symmetry right so we have seen previously three fold then we have seen from the top view from this upper view five fold symmetry then this picture we are seeing a two fold symmetry a two fold axis of symmetry from this angle so if it is a geometrical structure by looking at it from different angles we are seeing different levels of symmetry okay and by looking at the different levels of symmetry we can guess how complicated the structure actually is right so the symmetry comes down to 5 3 2 that's the actual uh, structural component for any icosahedral sh shape in planet right so in any icosahedron and it's uh, many many viruses many viruses are having this kind of capsid structure onto their surface right so in all these cases there can be variety of proteins usually all of these viruses they are getting variety of proteins to produce this kind of structure because uh, for the five axis or five time or five uh, fold axis of symmetry we get a type of protein for the three fold we get another variety of protein and for the two fold we get another variety so we get some variety of proteins to be arranged with each other to finally get the structure like that right so that's the basic funda about the capsid uh, structures and i hope that's helpful thank you